Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So here's an easy way. You can revert and switch back to the Windows 10 File Explorer if you are currently running Windows 11 version 22H2 without needing to hack your registry or use any third-party software. So maybe as an example, um, you just aren't really blown away by the new look and feel of the Windows 11 File Explorer. Or maybe you just feel like working in the File Explorer how it used to be when you were running Windows 10. Now to enable the Windows 10 File Explorer in Windows 11 version 22H2, it's quite simple to do. And first of all, if your File Explorer hasn't opened up on the home page, then just head to home, click on that. Then you need to navigate and head to the address bar, click on the arrow, and then head down and click on control panel. And once the control panel is open, we head back to the address bar, click on the arrow once again, and this time we click on home. And there we go, there's the Windows 10 File Explorer, more or less how it was when you were using Windows 10, with the ribbon at the top, and you can carry on with your work um, in the File Explorer, just like you used to when you were using Windows 10. Now, just one thing to take note of, this workaround is not permanent. So um, the Windows 10 File Explorer will only show and be enabled for as long as you are using that actual File Explorer session. So as an example, if I close the File Explorer, you will notice now that if I head back to the File Explorer in Windows 11, it'll open up in the Windows 11 File Explorer and not the Windows 10 File Explorer, but it's just a quick and easy way to enable the File Explorer um, for whatever reason uh, in Windows 11. And then um, obviously you will just need to head back and repeat the process um, if you want to enable the Windows 10 File Explorer, which is quite simple to do actually. And there we go, and we have the Windows 10 File Explorer back. Now, um, you can also run this in conjunction with the Windows 11 File Explorer. So if I head back to my File Explorer, you can see now that I have two um, File Explorer sessions open now. And there's my Windows 10 File Explorer, and there's my Windows 11 File Explorer. So I can actually run those side by side and parallel in conjunction with one another. And then obviously, I can just close those out. And as mentioned, once I close the Windows 10 File Explorer, I'll have to go through that process and enable it once again. But that's just a quick and easy way, if you are interested, how you can enable the Windows 10 File Explorer in Windows 11 version 22H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.